Good morning guys, I am so excited. I have been sent a package in the mail. I had Munbin contact me to see if they could send me one of their thermal printers to test and do a review on. And I was so super excited about it because I have been looking at replacing my thermal printer that I have. And this was one of the options that I was actually looking at. So let's get all of this. They've sent me some labels. Um, I've got a feeling that is the shipping um, fan folds in there, but I'm gonna get it all unwrapped and then show you what they've sent me. Okay, so I've got everything out of the packaging and out of the boxes and I'll show you what I've got. But I am super excited about some of the labels they sent me. When I was first contacted, I did immediately go and check the website to see what sort of consumables that you could get just to make sure that it was going to fit in with my business. And I eyed up some of the labels that were on there. I thought I really, really like them. If I like the printer, I'll go back and buy them. But they actually did send me them. So super excited about that. But we'll have a look at what else was actually in the box that they sent to me. So first up, we have the thermal printer and they've sent me the pink one. Um, it does also come in white and green, but the pink one's super cute. It's very compact. You can see it sits in the palm of my hands quite nicely, but I'm saying that it's also got a fair bit of weight behind it. So you can actually feel it's a really good quality um, thermal printer. Sometimes they're not very heavy when you pick them up, but this one has just, it's not super heavy, but it's just got that weight that you know it's gonna sit nicely on the bench, not going to move and you're going to get good quality out of it. Um, in the box also were all the cables that you need to be able to connect it to the printer. So we have got obviously the power supply source. So it does need to be plugged into your mains power. And they've also sent me the USB cable. So it's really important. This is not Bluetooth. It is USB cable connect. So we've got the, the main USB cable and they've also sent me an adapter or an extender as well, which I'm pleased about. It does look like a nice long cable, but because I am gonna set it up in my little print sort of area underneath, I do need to make sure that the cable is long enough to reach up and behind it into my um, USB port so we can get it working on the laptop. So having the two of those is really useful. Also, the first thing I saw when I opened up the box was this little quick tip card. And it, this is something that was very relevant to me. Um, if it is, does say on here, if you've been printing your shipping labels on another printer before this one, that you may need to go in and change it to a four by six setting, which I know I definitely need to go and do that. I use Australia Post to do all my shipping labels. So keeping that in mind, they did send me the one that is compatible with Australia Post shipping. If you use some of the other senders like Sendall, like the Australian ones that are not Australia Post, so Sendall, Couriers Please, and all of those, um, there is another printer that is compatible with their labels. So they've sent me the one compatible with Australia Post because that's what I do. But that was very handy to have as soon as I um, opened up the box. And then there's a few other sort of tips on the back on how to get the, or like if you get red lights and troubleshooting and that sort of stuff. There was also in the pack all of these sort of um, instructions on how to get this one set up. So we've got a user's guide. Oh, oh, and there's some more shipping labels. That must be what actually comes in the box. If you actually just purchase the thermal printer, you do get some shipping um, stickers. These are stickers and they're in a fan fold um, format. Um, so they are some shipping labels. What's this? We've got a little USB. I'm going to guess that this USB has got the program on but we'll have a look at that in just a moment to see if that's what that is so we've got all of that they have also sent me the fan fold um, shipping labels here which is good because I'm always um, looking at those sort of things and then these are the labels so they've sent me some round ones in the pink so you can do all sorts with these you can print up your little thank you notes um, you can use them to kind of um, label 
things within your workshop or home or whatever you want to do but the ones I was really really excited about were the shaped labels and these are going to come in handy for later on in the year when we hit the seasons <laughs> we've got some little pumpkins so I can't wait when we come to um, Halloween time and the Halloween pamper boxes this is what I'm going to be printing my label my little thank you labels on and then for Christmas, we have got some little Christmas trees. So again, even if people order um, boxes from me to actually have sent to other people, I can put those, um, often people say, can you leave a message in the box? So I can actually put their message on these little stickers to stick inside my box there. And there is also some little Santa hats as well. So they're a little bit harder to see. It took me a while to realize what these ones were, but you can see we've got the red part of the hat. There's a little white um, uh, ball ball pom pom thing and then the white fluffy bit across the bottom. So uh, really, really cute. Looking forward to being able to use those for seasonal stuff. Um, so that was everything that was included in my box. What I'm going to do is go and get it all set up on the in my little print area. Um, double check to see if this is the program to um, be able to do the sort of um, designs on the labels. And then we're going to give it a test run. I do have a couple of orders I need to pack and we'll get those shipping labels done as well. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we have the printer all set up. I have had to put it onto this little wooden shelf because of the way this opens up. Even if I just had it sitting on top of the printer, it wouldn't open up all the way for me to be able to access putting the paper in. So I popped it in the little shelf so I can basically pull it out, load the paper, and then I can slide it back in under there so I don't catch my legs on it. I did try putting it beside the printer, but again, because the, of the way the lid opens, it wouldn't open all the way because there wasn't enough um, room for the hinge. But this is still gonna work perfectly well. It is a compact printer. I just don't have much space under here. So where there's a means, there's a way. Uh, so we've got all that in there. What I'm going to do, I've been following the quick guide set up on how to do it. As I suspected, this is the software. So I'm gonna get it loaded onto the computer so we can hopefully start printing up some labels. So we are ready to do the shipping labels for this and I've just jumped into the Australia Post website. Now I'm going to say this up front, I am not one of these people who is going to show you reams and reams of um, shipping labels printing out of my printer. The reason being is because I generally only get between two to maybe eight to ten orders 
a day and I'm happy with that. These people that you see that get reams and reams and reams of shipping labels coming out their printer, these are generally people who have big release days and then they show you that printing on their release day when all those orders are coming in. My website is open 24 seven so I just get this continual trickle of orders throughout the week and I do a couple each day um, which is fine but by me if I saved them all up for the week I'd be able to do a nice big long stream of shipping labels but that's not what we're going to do because I like to get my orders out and I like to have my website open at all times for people. So what we're going to do is first of all as it's suggested on that quick setup thing I'm going to come into my settings on my Australia Post. I currently have my parcel post settings that I print four labels on one A4 sheet paper. It's told me to change it over to an A6 um, label one per, per thing. Now I'm actually going to leave my express post um, label settings as is because I do like to print them up in colour on the printer so that it is obvious to Australia Post after I put all the, the tape and everything on that it is express shipping. So I'll only be printing up my normal um, shipping labels on here for now. So I've just changed it over. We'll go save settings and now it is time to start doing some of my postal labels. So I get these ones done up. I've only got two to go out today so I'll get them done up then we'll get them printed. Okay, so my shipping um, labels are done. These are actually two regular customers, so all the information was already in there for me. Um, now when I've actually printed up um, on screen my shipping labels, I've noticed an immediate difference. Normally I would see all my labels on an A4 um, sheet. I can now see I do actually have the two separate labels, so they should print out on my um, machine down there. So let's see what happens. So we'll go Control P because I like my keyboards. Um, up in my destination, I need to go and find the new printer. There it is. Um, it's not going to come out in colour. I'm making sure I've got the correct paper, the 4x6. Um, scale is to default and we're going to hit print. Okay, so now that we've got the labels all done up, I do need to quickly sign them. So I just want to make sure, oh yeah, I'm using a permanent marker on them just to make sure that it doesn't wipe off. And then I'm going to stick these onto my, um, my packages like so. Right, so stick it on there. Usually I pop them inside the little um, things, but we're going to stick them on the outside. My, one of my sort of things I wanted to test was about how easy they're not going to come off very easily so you, it will be very easy to see if anyone has tried to get into someone's parcel so um so that is that one done and let's grab this one because normally what i would do is actually take my thing and just pop it inside there now this one i am going to put in there um this parcel i know is actually going further than australia this one is actually using a, a forwarding shipping address. So technically I have still sold to within Australia, but I do know this one is going overseas. So I'm gonna pop that in there just to make sure it stays nice and safe. Gonna tape these up. So that's that one done. I'm just gonna tape this one up as well. There was a message sent out um, from Australia Post a little while ago about some new machinery that they've had and they said that it is best to tape up any little ears and things on your parcels because the new machine is very prone to um, tearing them. So, And I was actually told that by someone in a post office many years ago to always tape up the little ears just to prevent any sort of rips that may occur during the shipping. So the thermal image on here is nice and strong and dark so it's very very easy to actually read all of the details on there even the real fine print down in like the bottom and stuff like that that has printed up really clearly i suppose the test will be will these qr codes actually scan into the shopify app so let's grab that we'll grab this particular order here 
um, I'll come down to fulfill and then I've got a little scan on here I'm just gonna hover over my QR code and it has scanned nice and easily. I think my screen's just a little bit dirty, which is why it took an extra minute there or an extra second. So that has all gone in there. Let's do my second one. Scroll on down, we'll go fulfill. We'll grab our little scanner and that one's gone in much quicker. So just needed to clean my camera off. So it's gonna be really handy having that printer dedicated to printing up my shipping labels. When I was printing them up on a standard printer using copy paper, there was a lot of wastage involved. If you only had one, two, or even three parcels with shipping labels, you do end up wasting paper because it's gonna print up a whole sheet of A4 paper and then you have to actually trim it down to the correct size if you've got anything more than one on them. So there is a lot of paper waste and there is also that time factor of having to cut those labels up. It's not a lot of time, but any time that you can save when you are in business is absolutely vital. So I think just being able to peel those stickers off and um, stick them straight on the parcels is gonna be a real help once we start getting into the really busy season. So that's gonna save me both time and money. But I'm not gonna just use this printer for shipping labels. I have used a thermal printer ever since I first started my business 10 years ago, and I find them so incredibly useful for doing all the little things, um, the things that don't necessarily need your branding on them, and even some things that do need your branding on as well. So I've done things like I print up labels to stick on containers so I know what's actually in boxes without having to pull them all out first. I have done things like print up barcodes for um, products where a barcode doesn't come with it and I need to put one on for easy scanning. I've printed up things like batch dates used by dates for um, other products. I have also done um, labels like ingredients lists for my um, soap samples that I send out. There is just so many things I do with that shipping, with that thermal um, printer and even things like when I receive an order and someone asks me to put an extra message inside the box, I will use the thermal printer to print up that message to go inside as part of the, the sticker that I use to seal up the tissue paper with. So that's what I will be using some of these stickers for. So there is lots I can do. Now when Mumbin actually contacted me to see if I wanted to test and review their printer, I was already looking for one and there were a few things that I was looking for specifically. And the first was that it could take the fan fold shipping labels because that was something I wanted to swap to. So it met that requirement. And the other requirement that I wanted was that I didn't want their other labels to be restrictive and on those little plastic cartridges that so many other printers use. I wanted them to be on free rolls with a cardboard insert because at the end of the day, I've been through that many of those plastic cartridges in my other thermal printer and it is a waste and it does kind of start growing on you. The more you're, or the bigger the business grows, the more you go through them, the more waste you're actually generating. And I am trying so hard to, if I can't reduce plastic in my main products, I try and reduce it in the manufacturing processes. So I was looking for a thermal printer that did not use those cartridges anymore because they are quite restrictive in what they can do. Um, so that was a real bonus that these are on a free roll. Now, um, one thing that I am going to go and purchase from off of the Munbin site is that they do have a little holder where you can actually put the rolls on and you can also put the fan fold underneath and then it all just sits nicely behind the machine and then it just feeds off very um, smoothly. So um, definitely I'm gonna go and get myself that one. But the other thing I really liked about their um, machine is that it's not restrictive on software either. So my current printer, you it comes with software and that's where you do all the designs. So you put all the information that you want to appear on the label and it prints it out. With Munbin, you can use any sort of um, software for doing your design and if you're no good at doing that sort of thing there is I discovered a whole section on there that tells you how to use Canva to do your designs on the labels how you do the design download it and then print it as a PDF onto your label so it's really easy for whether you have got any sort of label design skills using something like Adobe Illustrator which is what I'll be using or whether you want to go into Canva and um, design something through there and then print it 
What I'm really hoping is that this will also give a better print quality than what my old machine did. Um, and interestingly, on a side note, another thing that I think is going to be really good with this printer, my current printer, I think this is the third one that I've been on in 10 years and it actually does need replacing again now. What I find with my old printer is that as the labels go through, they actually go through the opposite way to what these do, so the sticky is pointing down and occasionally I have found no matter how often I clean it, some of the sticky gets stuck on the rollers and then one day you go to thread the, um, the label through and it peels another sticker off and it all gets tangled up inside a part that you cannot get to and the only way to get in is to kind of get a knife or something and pull the sticker out and I just I'm not comfortable doing that but the way that these labels actually load into that thermal printer I know that we're not going to end up with any stickiness we're not going to end up with labels coming off where they shouldn't be and everything that you need to clean is easily accessible as well without being dangerous to it um, to get to so I think there are some really really good features what I'm going to do is we're almost at the end of today but tomorrow I do have some soaps on my cure rack which are ready to wrap up so what I'll be doing is I'll be wrapping up the main soaps and then we've got a whole heap of samples that need to be bagged up and I'm going to print my little sample um, labels on these pretty pink ones that they've sent to me because I think they'll actually fit these soaps perfectly but with these two inch circles there are all sorts of colors available on the website so even if you don't want pretty pink ones you can go and get something like white or any other color that might match your business branding so we'll do that tomorrow i'm going to go and run these off down to the post office and we'll be back to have a look at the um the soaps soon good morning it's the next day and as i said i am going to be packaging up some of my soap samples today so this is a fresh ginger which is ready to be packed up um, i had a lot of spare or leftover soap so i made a whole heap of little um hearts now normally i'll grab one from out of my box here i do up my little soap samples and i print up a little label to go on the back of them with my thermal printer so what I'm going to do is actually use that pink um, label to create the labels to go on the back of the packaging for these ones. So let's go and do it. All right, so we're going to use these pink stickers that they sent through. These are a two inch circle and I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator today to do the design for these um, labels, but there are lots of other ways that you can do them. I will do another video where I show how I use Canva to create different labels as well. Um, what I've started off with in Adobe Illustrator and you can do these in any of your vector drawing programs I've started off with a two inch square and the first thing I'm going to do is actually put in a two inch circle centered onto the um, onto my artboard so that I know where the outline of my sticker is so so we'll insert a circle I'm going to make sure it's nice and centered in my um, in my artboard which I can see it is next thing I like to add in and I have I'm going to tell you now I've already designed it I'm gonna just copy and paste this stuff in I put my business name I'm putting down what it is we've got a soap sample I'll actually change the name of that in a moment to what we're doing I've got all of my ingredients list and then I've got a warning which I put with all of my products um, just something that is required by me on my labels let's come up to our black raspberry vanilla and we are actually making oh ginger flour is our soap today that we're going to be sampling up and there it is that is my label template i have saved this as a soap label but i will save that now before i print this what i do want to do is remove my circle outline once it's finished okay now that it's finished saving make sure i've got my tool selected i'm going to move that circle out of the way because we don't want that to print up on our sticker labels now that i've got the design into the computer the way i want it let's get these labels loaded okay so we are down at the machine let's pop it open here now when you first get the machine you've got these two little um things in here little guides i suppose we're going to call them and they do move they take a little bit of pressure to move them um so you don't want to go too hard on them but you do need a little bit just to get them to move what we're going to do is grab our roll of paper and at the moment I, I am going to get myself the stand to put these in um, but at the moment i'm just going to have to rest it at the back of the machine and hopefully it doesn't roll off 
what I'm going to do is line my paper up relatively in the middle there push these together and my piece of paper is going to rest in between these guides now you don't want it so tight that you've actually curled the paper but you do want it tight enough that it's going to guide it through the feeder nicely so now that we're at that point I'm just going to bring it forward so it's over the top of my roller going to close the lid turn the machine on and the first thing we need to then do is calibrate it so it knows what um, size sticker is in here to do that we're going to hold that green button hold it once until it beeps and then it will read which sticker is in there and it should spit out two Oh, just spits out. Yep, yeah, spits out too. Now, so I don't end up wasting this. Now that the machine is actually calibrated, I like to just come back in, pull it back, and then this way I only actually waste one sticker every time I reload. So that is in there like that. Now we're going to hit print. So I've hit the print button. I have made sure that the Munbin printer is selected. I have gone in and I have picked the two inch um, round sticker label. And and it automatically puts it just slightly off center just to take into account the um, the bit of label that is around the circle and then we are ready to go print all right so I'm really impressed I was half expecting this roll to actually shoot off the back here because that's generally what rolls do but I think it's been rolled on in such a way that it's just very gently pulled it through and it hasn't disappeared um, I am still going to get myself the stand because one of the things I have found is that because of how the cables are on the back of this when you put the fan fold because of how wide they are they kind of sit on top of the cable and they go through a little bit wonky so I will still get myself the stand so that it sits back from these cables and does make it a bit easier to go through but now that we're at this point I'm just going to grab my labels and tear them off and they rip nice and easily there's a little serrated edge up here and they just rip off here so nicely okay so now that I've got all that done I get my little bags that I'm going to put my soap into there's a little seam on the back so I make sure that's at the back of the bag I pop my little label onto the back and then into the bag goes my little soap and then just with the heat sealer I'm just going to seal it down and that is my little soap sample all ready to go and that looks super cute with that label and as with the postage labels these are going to be really hard to get off so I know that they're not going to come off easily and it has printed up everything so beautiful and clearly. I've thoroughly enjoyed testing the Munbin Direct Thermal Printer this week. I have found it just so very useful. Um, there are a few pros and cons to it, like everything. Um, some of the cons that I have found with it are very personal to me in that even though it is nice and compact, um, I do need that sort of opening space. So I'm just going to have to do a little bit of a shuffle in around my sort of area just to get it working for me properly. And I do also find the cords that are coming out of the back of the machine just to get in the way a little bit of the um, fan fold labels. And I do also feel that you do need that sort of label unwind just to make sure that your labels don't get too messy. But they're really quite personal um, cons about the machine. Other than that, I I can't find any sort of physical fault with the machine. I think it is very well price pointed um, within our market for a thermal printer. I love the fact that it is not restrictive on the type of thermal labels that you use. You do need direct thermal labels, but because it's not on a cartridge, you don't have to keep to a specific brand name. So um, I do really like that about their printer. I also love the fact that it's not on that plastic cartridge and has the little wooden inner tube on it. Um, I also love how cute and compact it actually is. And even though it is quite cute and compact, it does feel like a dirty piece of machine that I think I'm going to get many years of use out of. Um, it has made my shipping so much easier. I think it's going to be very much so cost effective and it is going to save me time, especially as we start um, getting more and more of these shipping as we um, sort of head into the busier time this year. So I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. If you are looking for a direct thermal printer, 
go and check out Munbin. I'll leave some links below in the description box so you can go and have a look at it and all the sort of little bits of extras that they have to go with it too. I do highly recommend the machine. I know they've sent it to me, but I think if I had a choice of purchasing another one of the thermal printers that I currently use, I think I'd actually probably go with the Munbin anyway, just because of the flexibility that it is going to be offering me and my business. So a huge thank you to Mumbin for reaching out to me and sending me the machine along with all those labels. I really do appreciate it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching this unboxing and using. As I mentioned, I will make other videos if you are interested in this machine on how I use things like Canva to design and print the labels as well. So that will be coming out in the very near future. Until the next video comes out, I hope you have a good one. I'll see you then. Bye.